Well, obviously, you win a road game, you're you're happy, and uh, you know, you got the rivalry re- renewed. You got it, you know, easy two hour, fifteen minute bus ride up here. Great arena, uh, you know, great history to this game, and uh, we knew they were a wounded animal. They had a bad stretch. Um, we thought they, you know, you got exam week, and we thought they'd come out and play hard and get after us, and um, they did. They jumped on us. Uh, I thought we fight our, we fought ourselves again on the offensive end, uh, trying to make tough plays instead of easy plays. Um, you know, we kind of, Ish loses his poise. I didn't, I didn't even see the play with the technical, but now he's got to sit. Uh, but that group that came in, Mike and uh, Selton and, uh, you know, Nigel Marquis, that group that finished the half did a great job defensively. Gave us a nice boost and 11 straight shutout, 16 to two run. You take the lead. So you start them to start the second half. Um, and then they don't have the energy that we needed. And we had to use some other guys and kind of mix it in. But uh, probably, two, you know, game of a, some runs. They run to start. I run to finish the half. They run to start the second half. And then, um, you know, then back and forth. And then we made some big plays down the stretch. Obviously, it's nice to have Nigel back. Um, you know, not a perfect night, but he still ends up 15, eight and five and two, two uh, turnovers, two of steals. But I thought the, the bench was a big difference. If you look at the plus minus, uh, Selton plus 15, Mike plus eight, Luke plus seven, uh, kind of just on and on. If you look at those guys, you know, they were big difference makers and the big guys, you know, Davion and Casey, you know, between the two, I think it's 15 and, and or 18 and uh, 15 rebounds, which is which is impressive for those guys. So we got them involved. Uh, we thought we could take advantage of them inside. We called some quick hitters, got it into them. And, then, you know, you can see Davion slowly but surely. Obviously, I wanted it a little sooner than this, but he has made some progress and, and hopefully he feels good about himself and doesn't uh, doesn't let down uh, our strength coach aj keeps telling me don't compliment him coach because we can't have him we can't let him stop now he's got to continue moving forward and and taking care of his body and giving giving himself a chance to be successful and be the player he should be thank you coach the first question to tell us yeah, Bruce, just why do you think the defense was so effective tonight, especially against their threes? Well, you know, they start out the game, I think it was five for the first nine they made. And and there were a couple long ones. And But I thought we what we did was settle down and got protected the paint. That was the key against them. Not let them get in the paint because Verge and McGowan's and, and Will Joe – uh, what Joe, they all can get to the paint and make plays. Even Walker is talented as a big guy to have the ball in that mid post and make some plays and passes uh, inside out. Um, but we, you know, once we stopped that and kind of got the wall going, um, our the turnovers helped us get some transition at the end of the half, allowed us to get some easy baskets. But the I think the big thing off of that was we got to the shooters and made them a little tougher, a little contested. I The one big emphasis this week was no matter where they are, we had to get hands up and we had to contest those shots to make them a little tougher. Um, but, you know, I, I, I thought our defense slipped a little bit against the Green Bay, uh, but, you know, it, it was pretty good tonight. If, if we, uh, you know, keep them, you know, take – I thought our offense was going to dictate what our defense was like, and that 19 turnovers, a little too many. Uh, for us, we've been pretty good about taking care of the ball. And then also the, you know, the, the fouling, keeping them off the free throw line was, was going to be a big key. And for the most part, we did a pretty good job with that. And you guys end up with a, you know, solid amount of points. But when you do go through scoring slumps like you had at times today, what would you advise your team to do to get out of those little fast? I, I think move the basketball. That's what we kept talking about. Move them, make them break down. At any team, even us, we'll break down if you keep us going side to side. Um, and and that was I like when I said earlier, we fought the game and we hadn't done that in a while. And you know, we 
and then shoot the ball on the, on the three-point line. I was so happy. I told the guys when we got here this morning, there was only one line on the court. There was not the, the high school line. There wasn't the NBA line. And, you know, I was like, now we're going to, you know, just get on that line. But we still insist on shooting some some four or five feet beyond, the, beyond that line. And there's no need to. You don't get any more points. But the turnovers, forcing the action, letting it come, Every game's different. Everyone defends differently. And you got to adjust to that. Thanks, Bruce. Yep. Uh, next, next question to Michael Goins. Yeah, Bruce, how gratifying is it to get the 22 points off turnovers to, to convert on a lot of those opportunities? Yeah, you know, we, we did a good job. At, that was a big part of that stretch to end the half where we got some you know, we made not only got the steals, but we made the right plays, got to the hoop, uh, got layups. We've been working on just we don't have to settle on three on ones, three on twos for threes. We can get layups. And we I think Mike got a hand one on one of them. So uh, that, you know, it's something we've worked on. We've talked about. We've showed them uh, we're getting more and more efficient. If you, if you take advantage of your of our defense and create offense and make the right plays and reads, obviously it's going to help us. And do you feel like as much as anything, you're able to chase the shooters off their spots? Yeah, I think, you know, one, keep them out so we don't have to help keep them out of the paint. I, you got to, you know, we had to settle down. Those guys, they're good. I mean, Virg is good at getting inside, outside move with the dribble, getting to the paint, making people help McGowan's. Um, you know, they, they got some guys that can make some plays and they spread you. They got great spacing. You know, it's a little different. They're playing off the five and that that mid post and cutting and, you know, got us on a, a, a maybe a back door, a back cut. Now, you, now they kick it out. Um, you know, I th you know, and I thought Casey to end of the half, he fought the big guy, made him catch it out a little further, which allowed us to get into their shooters, get into the, the handoff guys made it a little tough run. And do you feel like your efficiency went up at about the last 30 minutes of the game? You know, yeah, obviously you get down, what was it, 25 to 15. And, uh, you know, the rest of the game, we outscored them 50, 52 to, uh, you know, what would that be? My math is usually pretty good, 30, 33 or whatever. No, something like that. So um, 25 from 58, that's, that's yeah, 33. So. Um, pretty good, you know, pretty good run. Uh, obviously, you know, we, I, and again, we just got, we can keep getting better. I, I told them after, obviously I'm happy. It's a road win. We got two road wins. Um, but the, I think the best thing is our team can get better and we got to want to get better. Uh, I, one of my quotes this week was, uh, if you're not willing to learn, no one can help you, but if you're willing to learn, no one can stop you. And, and that's, that's uh, it's got to be us moving forward. We got a few guys that are a little stubborn, and uh, you know I I tell them I don't want to take their game away. I just want to teach them how to play the game the right way. And if they can listen and learn, they can be a much more effective. Thanks, first. Yeah. Uh, next question to Cole. Hey, Coach. I, I asked Nigel this question when he was on here earlier with us, but. When you get into a situation like you were in the beginning part of the game where the threes just weren't falling, is that something you kind of tell your guys is, hey, maybe go to the hoop? Or I know you said you want to keep them playing their game, but what's the message from you in a situation like that? Well, I didn't. Some of those threes were good threes. Some of them were a little off the line. Um, you know, and, and now, hey, you know, when when were we scoring? And when, you know, make the extra pass, get in the paint. Obviously, the points in the paint have been really important for us. I think at halftime, it was 22 to eight. I could be wrong, something like that. So did a better job of, you know, it, sometimes they're not going. I thought we shot so well. We put a lot of time into shooting this week because we had more time and we shot well this morning at shoot around. So you hope, you know, hey, this is going to be a, you're going to be hot. And they, they've struggled against people. People shoot 35 from three against them, but it, it didn't go. So now, you got to find other ways to get in. You got to get to the hoop. Obviously, Mark had a huge one from way out to, to kind of ice that thing. But, uh, you know, it, it, you got to keep playing the game and got to find other ways to score. And that's where our big guys were important. We got it inside to them, got to the paint, drop-offs, 
to layups, to free throws. Uh, and, you know, that's, that's every game. You got it. Every game is different because people defend differently. The ball bounces differently. It, it goes in some days. It does in others. But you still got to find ways to win. And then the last question I have for you is, what did you think about the lineup with Marquise the first time that you had Marquise and Nigel in there to start the game? Well, obviously it wasn't a good start <laughs> to our, to it, and I don't think it had anything to do with that. I and I, you know, again, Nigel has a pretty good numbers, but I don't think he's in rhythm. He's trying to figure it out. I thought he took a couple off the line that, you know, he, you know, let it come two for nine for three. Um, you know, look, he, obviously he's been really, really good, but. You don't practice even a good player like him for eight, nine days, and then you don't you play one game and then have a week off. Uh, it'll it'll take him a little time to get that back. But, uh, you know, we'll see. It's not our best defensive lineup, but I really think it's our best offensive lineup. And, you know, again, if you play well, you're going to stay in the game. And, that, you know, Selton and Sardi plays 30 minutes. Um, you know, Ish, you know, has the unfortunate, I don't, Again, I don't know the call or the play. I didn't see it. I'll have to watch. But, you know, to his credit, he doesn't start the second half. Comes back and he's huge for us. Ten points, you know, plus five and the plus minus four rebounds, five for five from the free throw line. And um, so, you know, play well, you'll stay in the game. Any other questions for Coach before we let him go? Uh, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Hey, Bruce, I guess I'm making up uh, for not having a question the other day for you in post game. But uh, yeah, before he fouled out, what did you feel like Mike brought tonight for you guys? I, you know, and again, you got to give him credit, his maturity. Um, I talked about him coming off the bench plus eight. I thought his defense was really good. Uh, two assists, no turnovers, five points. You know, just he did a lot of nice things and he, and he was saying the right things in the huddle. Um, and, and, you know, that he did, he did not get out of bed till Tuesday. And he, all he could do was shoot on Wednesday and Thursday without anyone else in the gym. And he had to practice with a mask on on Friday and Saturday. So, um, you know, you, you got to give him some credit, some maturity, uh, which we're going to need. And, you know, it would, I know he wants to get going offensively and I think that'll come, but, you know, again, he's, he's really important. And with that, knowing how to play, helping us make the run, playing for K-State, you know, making the right plays. And and that was, he was a big part of the game. I, I Again, our bench, Luke, Kim, you know, Selton, Davion, uh, you know, at times you never know who's going to be better. So uh, I hope that depth is, is something that carries us a long way. And, and then last thing uh, for me, Bruce, you know, pretty good environment here tonight. How much do you think the games in KC and in the one in Wichita maybe helped you guys already be prepared for this kind of environment? Well, it's, it's you know, to have this, to go to Wichita, to go here, to play on the road, uh, you know, great. It's, uh, it's the first time I've been in the arena. I played in the old place. Um, but, you know, great. It's an NBA arena. It's unbelievable. Credit to them. Uh, you know, it, it looked pretty full, at least from what I could tell. Um, it got loud a couple times, but I thought we kept, you know, we kept that quiet by making the different runs. So all those experiences are really good for us playing these games. Obviously, we would like to have Marquette back. Um, you know, we'll have a lot of, we got 19 high level games coming after the new year. So uh, actually 20 with the tournament. So you'll, we'll have a chance to get one back there. We just got to worry about keep getting better. Uh, next question for Arnie Green. Arnie, go ahead. I think you're muted. Sorry. There okay. you go. Uh, yeah, you talked about the post players, but is this as good a game as you've gotten from both of them combined? It seemed like you got um, contributions from both of them tonight. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. It's It's a great point. You know, we've I've said since the beginning, uh, you know, we all felt great about Davion a year ago. Casey, I didn't think we, you guys got to see what he was really like. Uh, Casey's done a great job of taking care of his body. Uh, he probably doesn't have the athleticism, some of that, that, you know, he wishes he had, but we, we've continued to talk to him about 
if your body's right, and your mind's right, you can still be an effective player. Um, you know, again, he's, he's, he's shooting the ball really well, three for four from the free throw line. Uh, you know, you got both of them rebounding. Uh, they were, they were a force inside and we actually a couple times called plays to get it to them, which I thought we had about three weeks in, uh, you know, from no, late November into December where we didn't even, I don't think the players trusted them and I'm not sure the coaches did, but to their credit, they've come a long way. And now I, I hope they become where people have to worry about that. And, and that, that would be important, but again, it's, it's our players uh, making, helping them, getting them the position. They got to set the screens. They got to make the handoffs. They got to do that stuff and use all that energy, but, uh, you know, but at the, and then if they catch it and finish, if our guys make the right plays and passes, uh, they can be very effective. Thanks. Yep. Anything else for Coach before we let him go? Okay. Thank you, hey, Coach. Thank you, guys. See you Tuesday.